Thank you. Thank you. On March 26th, at 1.30 in the morning, a container ship, the length of three football fields, slammed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, and the bridge collapsed. A port that drives 13 percent of our state's economy was now closed. Thousands of workers were hours away from waking up and realizing they no longer had a job. Six Marylanders who had been on the bridge in the middle of the night fixing potholes lost their lives. And one of the first phone calls that I got that morning started with these three words. Gov, it's Kamala. She said, I know you spoke to the president, and I want you to know we are here with you every step of the way. Now, I, I joined the Army when I was 17. In fact, I was too young to sign the paperwork. I had to ask my mom to sign the paperwork for me because I don't have bone spurs. <laughs> I led soldiers in combat in Afghanistan. And my training, my training taught me that you never learn anything about anybody when times are easy. You learn everything you need to know about somebody when times are hard and when the temperature gets turned up. And America, I saw that Kamala Harris is the right one to lead in this moment firsthand. And united. With the almighty God's grace, we brought closure to the families of the six victims. And while many said it could take 11 months to reopen the port of Baltimore, we got it done in 11 weeks. Because that is the story of America. We are a nation of patriots who serve when the mission is hard and who serve when the destination is uncertain. And I know our history is imperfect. The unevenness of the American journey has made some skeptical. But I'm not asking you to give up your skepticism. I just want that skepticism to be your companion and not your captor. And I'm asking that you join us in the work. Because making America great doesn't mean telling people you're not wanted. And loving your country does not mean lying about its history. Making America great means saying the ambitions of this country would be incomplete without your help. It's the legacy of those six workers who fixed potholes on a bridge while we slept, who were born in a different country, but who knew that America was big enough for them too. It's the journey. It's the journey of a man raised by a remarkable immigrant single mom, a man who felt handcuffs on his wrist at 11 years old, who now stands before you as the 63rd governor of Maryland and the first black governor in the history of our state.
It's the story. It's the story of a prosecutor who defended our freedoms and had Maryland's back when we needed it most. And now, MVP, we've got your back as well. Right. It's my fellow veteran, my brother, and the next Vice President of the United States, Tim Walz. And now, Tim, Tim knows that in the military, you count the days towards mission completion. So guess what, y'all? We have got 75 days and a wake up until Election Day. 75 days and a wake up for us to prove what Americans can do when the pressure is on. 75 days and a wake up for us to show that true patriots do not whine and complain. We put our heads down and we get to work. 75 days and a wake up to build a future that those who came after those who came before us hope for and those who come after us that they deserve and 75 days and a wake up to elect a leader who is willing to believe in the best of us and that leader is Kamala Harris the next president of the United States thank you 